When someone feels like they're under a spiritual attack, it usually means they're going through some strange or unsettling experiences that are messing with their spiritual well-being and daily life. These experiences can be different for everyone, depending on what you believe and your personal situation. But there are some common signs that people often link to feeling spiritually attacked. So, here are five signs to look out for if you think you might be under a spiritual attack. Decreased spiritual interest. When someone starts diving into their spiritual side or tries to connect more with a higher power, they often run into some challenges along the way. And guess what? These challenges can get even tougher as you really start moving forward on your spiritual path. The main aim of these challenges or spiritual attacks is to throw you off track from your real life's purpose as you grow more spiritually aware. You start to get a clearer picture of what your soul is really meant to do. Sadly, these negative forces notice your spiritual growth too. They see the awesome potential in your bright future and will try anything to stop it. They'll try to steer you off your spiritual path, even tricking you by pretending to be friendly voices in your head. When these spiritual attacks hit you, you might find it tough to dive into your usual spiritual routines. Connecting with the divine might not feel as easy and natural as it once did. Suddenly, praying, reading spiritual texts, or meditating just does not have the same appeal. If you find yourself not wanting to pray or read spiritual texts, or meditate especially when you used to love doing these things, it could be a sign you are under a spiritual attack. Those negative vibes know they cannot mess with you. When your mind is full of positive, spiritual thoughts, they know they cannot succeed. If you're tuned into the divine or always praying and keeping those bad vibes out, that's why they try to dampen your enthusiasm for these spiritual practices. Stepping out on prayer, you're more open to negativity. Not diving into spiritual texts, you're skipping out on a great defense tool. Missing out on quiet meditation, you're missing a chance to tune into the divine. These negative vibes want you to lose interest in your spiritual routines, to weaken your bond with the divine, making it easier for them to get to you. Intense Frustration During a spiritual attack, you might feel super frustrated. Your mind gets swamped with stress and negative thoughts, making it feel like everything's spiraling out of control. It's like getting stuck in a whirlwind of overwhelming thoughts. Remember, not every thought you have is a true reflection of reality, especially when you're going through a tough time. Old issues you thought you would dealt with might pop up again, stirring up emotions and making you doubt what you know is true. It is like those tricky memories of past challenges or tough relationships sneak back to bother you when you least expect it. You might feel really lost, like you're trying to find your way through thick fog or sticky mud, struggling to see clearly or move forward easily. Past hurts that you thought were healed could come back, making you feel frustrated and mad at yourself for what feels like wasted time. These intense feelings can really shake you up, causing inner turmoil and even messing with how you relate to others. This emotional roller coaster is exactly what those negative vibes want. When you're facing a spiritual attack, the aim is to stir up enough chaos inside you to knock you off your spiritual path and shake your determination. Understanding that this is just a trick, not a true reflection of who you are, is a key step in beating these challenges. Uncertainty about your life's purpose we all have a special purpose. That's at the heart of our spiritual journey. This purpose ignites a passion in us and points us toward our destiny. But during a spiritual attack, that bright flame of passion and purpose can fade 
making life feel like it's lost its meaning. The goal of these negative vibes during an attack is to throw you off track and stop you from reaching your true potential. They try to confuse and distract you, hoping you'll lose sight of your purpose and become easier to influence. These attacks usually aim straight for your mind, messing with your thoughts and making you doubt yourself. Remember, not every thought or feeling you have is a true picture of what you can do. What you're really meant to do is where your strength lies. Plus, these negative vibes might try to steer you towards a fake purpose, pulling you away from your true path and making you feel weak and powerless. Real purpose doesn't come from being forced or pressured. It's something you're gently guided to, a path that feels right and true to who you are inside. Knowing the difference between being led to your true purpose and being pushed into a fake one is crucial for keeping your spiritual strength and staying true to yourself. Struggling with prayer or meditation. One clear sign you are under a spiritual attack is finding it hard to pray or meditate. These practices are key to a strong spiritual life and are your direct ways to connect with the divine. But when facing a spiritual attack, you might struggle to concentrate, feel connected, or even start these practices. This isn't just a random thing. Those negative vibes know how powerful prayer and meditation are in boosting your spiritual strength. They try to mess with these practices to shake your spiritual foundation, making you more open to doubt, fear, and more attacks. You might feel uneasy, distracted, or swamped with negative thoughts when you try to pray or meditate. It can feel like the peace and clarity you once got from these practices are now gone. This disruption is on purpose, trying to cut you off from your spiritual strength and guidance. But realizing this struggle is a sign of a spiritual attack is the first step to beating it. Keep pushing through even when it feels really tough, simple. Focused practices can help you regain your focus and connection. Remember, just trying to pray or meditate, even when it's hard, shows how committed you are to your spiritual journey. Old habits and past lifestyle coming back. Another big sign of a spiritual attack is when old habits and parts of your lifestyle that you thought you had moved past suddenly come back. It can feel really discouraging and confusing, like you're taking a step back on your spiritual journey. You might catch yourself falling back into old behaviors, thoughts, or habits that don't really help you or fit with the spiritual growth you've achieved. These old habits could be small things or bigger lifestyle choices that you intentionally left behind to lead a healthier, more spiritually in tune life. Seeing these old patterns pop up doesn't mean you failed. It's actually a sneaky move by negative forces to make you doubt yourself, feel ashamed, and lose confidence. The goal is to throw off your spiritual groove and shake your belief in yourself by reminding you of past weaknesses. This strategy plays on the fear that you have not really changed or grown spiritually, shaking your confidence in your own transformation. This is a reminder to strengthen your spiritual routines and remember why you chose to make positive changes. Approaching these old habits with understanding and kindness instead of being hard on yourself lets you confirm your dedication to your spiritual journey. So my friends, you don't have to let fear or anxiety take over. That's just what the negative forces want, to make you feel uneasy and scared. Getting wrapped up in fear can weaken you during tough times. But don't forget, there's no need to stress. The Divine Spirit doesn't want you to worry, it's here to lift you up and empower you. Absolutely, you will encounter challenges on your spiritual path. But you're not without protection by using all the tools at your disposal like faith, prayer, meditation, and insights from spiritual readings. You can come out on top despite these challenges. 
the divine and the universe have already paved a way for you to overcome these obstacles, leading you from the middle of the struggle to a place of victory. Hold onto these tools with confidence and faith. They're like your protective armor and powerful weapon, ready to guard you and break through the challenges with them by your side. Victory is not just a possibility, it's guaranteed. Dive into your spiritual routines and let them ground you. Remember, you're not in this fight by yourself. The spirit and the universe are with you every step of the way, guiding you towards light and success. I hope you found today's video helpful and inspiring. If it speaks to you, please share it with someone who might need it too. Wishing you a truly fantastic day. See you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.